An oil and gas site is shut down tonight as federal officials investigate a fire at the Well Pad in Weld County. The flames sent seven workers to the hospital. It happened just outside the town of Frederick. This is off County Line Road in Weld County 20 and 20 and a half. Well, Crestone Peak Resources owns that well pad. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live near the site tonight. Jen, neighbors first heard sirens. Jessica and Shannon, and then they saw the flames from their windows. Right now we're standing in Stephen Hawley's driveway. The well pad sits just across the street behind me. He says that this fire further proves why these industrial sites shouldn't be close to homes. Our residence is right here. I'm standing in the driveway and over there 500 feet is the well pad that was on fire last night. Stephen Hawley saw the flames from inside his house. The fire, I would have to guess, was a good 10 feet above. He then came outside to see the smoke. It just looked like uh, maybe not so much oil, but chemicals were burning. Worried for his family's safety, Hawley says they didn't know if they should stay or go. Who knows if it's going to blow up? Nobody's letting us know what to do. An aerial view from Air Tracker 7 shows the aftermath and what's left of the charred drill rig. The fire sent seven contract workers to the hospital with minor injuries. Creston Peak Resources says they still don't know what caused it, but crews spent the morning inspecting the site. We're scared as hell. Holly says they never wanted the well pad here in the first place and feels under attack by oil and gas. I wished it would disappear. It's hard to say how safe everything really is. And last night just proves that point. Since drilling started about a year ago, he's filed at least a dozen complaints about the odor, noise, and sounds coming from the well pad. The nail in the coffin, so to speak. Uh, this is almost enough to make us want to pick up and leave. Some very scary moments for neighbors out here. Now, the fire happened just before 9 last night. The State Oil and Gas Commission and OSHA are both investigating, and this well pad will remain shut down until they figure out the cause. We will stay on top of this. For now, we are live in Weld County. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. Jennifer, thank you very much.